What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Moleskine and before I begin this video, let me tell you that they added four new moments challenges. They're all for 2.5k MT Pro difficulty. So y'all should have no problems playing these games. They should be really easy and when you beat all of them, they're 4 minute quarters, so that's 16 minutes total per game. About 20 minutes when you like go through all the motion and all that. So if you beat all of them, that's not just 10k. You're going to get an additional 10k. So that's 20k MT really really easy really really free this should take you under two hours to get 20k mt that's a pretty good deal thank you guys 2k for this easy deal now before we get into the video there's a locker code that i missed so i'm putting it up on the screen right now you guys can pretty much screenshot this get ready use it there's four throwback packs on the screen there's gonna be two heat checks on the board as well and some really really low mt numbers i don't know where we're going we're just gonna drop we don't care too much and 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 wow we obviously got the worst thing on the board beautiful thank you guys so much thank you 2k i appreciate y'all now that was really fitting because low mt means we can use our budget squads i got two budget squads that i made for you guys these are basically gonna be our shooting guys guys that you can add that are really good shooters for really really cheap as you guys see in the title these are all cards that are under 10k mt you got three cards here that are kind of valuable you got the steven jackson the john collins and this power forward that i'm not even gonna try to butcher his name but then everybody else goes for like one to five k Yi john lee goes for about six or seven i think the cj is about that price as well and we're gonna look really really quick at these guys i'm gonna explain to you guys why these guys are really good you can add to your budget squads if you guys don't have a lot of mt and how they're gonna really help you win so we start off with this d low really really quick i'm not gonna get into a lot of details but this d low has a 93 open shot 3 93 contested 93 off dribble his stats are really really good shooting wise his mid range is okay he's really good at stealing passing he's pretty fast and this card is actually better than the ruby in my opinion he comes with three gold badges that are really really good limitless deep range and catch and shoot which are all expensive badges and you get them really cheap you got this emerald kevin card who a lot of people would be like why would you use an emerald in this game and he has really good stats mid range and three point and his stats are just good all around i would recommend this card he only comes with gold catch and shoot but it's not a problem he's still a really cheap card that can really benefit you if your team needs it this is another one of my favorite emeralds in this game emerald brook lopez he comes with gold limitless which is insane considering the fact that he's seven feet tall he has a 95 open shot three he can shoot from deep and he's seven feet tall so he's gonna be able to block defense all that good stuff he'll still be able to rebound even though his stats don't say it he's not the best big man in the game but he's still gonna be effective we'll skip to this big man right here kp is always gonna be amazing this card probably goes for one to two k i badged mine out he has a lot of badges mine's badged out you can see the badges i have on him i have rim protector i have defensive stopper i didn't add limitless and stuff like that but he has catch and shoot pick and pop mid-range deadeye which he doesn't need because he's 7-3 but technically his stats aren't the best like the Ami one is way better but if you badge this one out and he's only like 2k if you can get one badged out for like 5 to 10 that's amazing and he's still a great card to use we'll go over to this card who i told you guys is a little little expensive he's 6 11 he has a 92 open shot three the rest of his stats like shooting wise aren't the best his mid range is good but he's good all in all like all around guy he's really good he also has really good badges with the dead eyes the mid range and the deep range he has the catch and shoot and i recommend these cards for sure now Yi was just released with the chinese new year Come with 10 gold badges the only two shooting ones are mid-range that i and catch and shoot but his shooting stats are great he does have a 91 open shot three he has a really good mid-range and this card is so underrated by him now i'm telling you if you don't have this card his speed is bad whatever got great rebounding great defense and this card is so cheap right now when he's out of packs it's gonna go up in price so make sure you get yours now and be able to use it on your team now the last big man i have on here this john collins actually can work on both squads that i'm showing you guys so i have this squad which is our three point shooting squad this card is on it because he has a 95 open shot three the rest of his stats are crazy his driving stats he has great dunking stats with the 95 driving dunk 90 contact defense ain't all that he could rebound his speed is slow but it is what it is and he has good badges as well 10 gold badges that are already equipped and this card isn't that expensive it's under 10k you can get it for like seven to nine maybe sometimes he's ten and up 
but he's still a great card highly recommend this steven jackson who's about 10k plus but he's still there borderline where i would still recommend him same with this darius miles these are the throwback elites that were released earlier in the year and they're still really really effective i'm not going to show you their stats but check them out there's also morris peterson who i think goes for 15k he's a 6'9 shooting guard you can't really beat that these guys all have great takeovers and they're really fun cards to use darius miles has great dunk animation same with steven jackson they're just really really tall lanky and really good shooters defenders and i really recommend them if you don't have them and you need a small forward or you can actually run them as shooting guard and just go really really big now you guys saw me recommend this kevin knox before he's like two three k that's why i recommend him he's as an 86 open shot three which is the lowest out of everyone we showed this card is probably the worst on this team even though his speed is higher i do recommend him if you really don't have mt like he still has posterizer catch and shoot and he's gonna be an effective part of your team if you don't have mt spencer dinwiddie has an interesting release but i actually practiced with him a little bit shout out to dinwiddie for telling me to use him and honestly he has five gold badges including limitless catch and shoot and his stats are pretty good he has a 93 open shot three 90 off the dribble 90 contested he's not undersized he's 6'6 six, six. He's a little slower, I would say. Like, he feels slow to me, even though I don't actually know what his speed is. I think his speed might be good. His speed is actually really, really good. I feel like he's slow, but I guess that's just because of his release. His release is different, but you're going to get used to it if you practice with it. And now here we have the 90 overall CJ McCollum, who's like 5 maybe around there and not the 92 i'm showing you guys the 90 because he has better shooting stats and way better shooting stats you see his mid-range is a 94 95 open his open shot three is a 90 and this one shoots way better than the 92 the 92 has like an 80 open shot three this one can actually shoot he has a 94 steal his speed is still an 87 comes with badges 10 of them to be exact and if you get 10 badges for free for a car that's 5k you cannot beat that badges are so important i've shown that and i've said that many many times a card that has badges is 10 times better than a card without badges so these are the guys that i would consider really good shooters i also have this larry hughes his three points only at 88 it's not as high as i would have showed you some of the other guys but he's 6'5 and the reason i'm showing you guys this larry hughes is because of this pretty much set steve kerr has a really high three Kyle Korver has a really high three these cores are really really cheap these guys have really like literally 95 threes one two Joe Johnson Karan Butler all these guys have really 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 high threes their releases are simple like Kyle Korver is money Steve Kerr is money he's an 81 overall and let me show you this guy's stats he has a 95 open shot three at an 81 overall that is insane obviously he's a little undersized that's why I went with Larry Hughes because his release is still easy and this guy has less badges than the Larry but these are guys I definitely recommend let me know if you use any of these guys let me know if i'm missing anyone on this team but i'm gonna show you guys the other team that i made as well which is more of a driving budget squad you can definitely use guys from here and there i don't know y'all play styles i just want to show you guys those are some of the better shooters under 10k but here you got the bigger more aggressive guys the guys that will attack the basket the guys that are like russell westbrook type players you got the penny hardaway who's a really really big point guard six seven comes with six badges including dimer which is huge huge this victor oladipo couldn't really make a three-point shooting team but he can be used as a shooter he has a 79 three which is interesting because he has limitless range on gold which is crazy but he has posterizer he has defensive stopper and this card is really really cheap as well and you could see that he has great attacking the basket stats then you got guys like gilbert arenas who was just released and like i said with the yee card this card's gonna go up in price when he's out of pack so buy him now because he has really good speed he has a 93 speed he comes badged out for you 10 badges that are all great t max always gonna be amazing even though he's a sapphire card he has mid-range that i posterizer acrobat he has great stats for even the three his three as an 84 isn't bad but his dunking stats are amazing 97 driving dunk 95 contact he's 6 8 and you can run him at the one two or three and i said the one because i know a lot of people do run cheesy cards at the one we also have these jackson cards josh jackson and jaron jackson this josh jackson is actually a sleeper card he's a low overall but look at this he has 90 driving stats he has 90 driving dunk 
His three pointer isn't bad with an 82. He has an 88 speed and he comes with three gold badges, including defensive stopper and posterizer. Then you got the other Jackson who's incredible. 10 gold badges, including rim protector, posterizer. He has catch and shoot. Let's see his three stat, which is an 84. His driving stats are great. And that's why I showed you guys these as a different team. These guys have better driving stats. His speed is terrible, atrocious for real. But then you have so many options for centers that you guys don't even realize like this Jared Allen and I'm not saying this because I'm a Nets fan this Jared Allen is incredible he's 611 his offense only consists of dunks he's not a great like offensive player at all but if you have a great offensive team you have a 95 block on this guy 88 shot contest his rebounding is crazy he's not the slowest center he's pretty strong this card really plays better than his stats show and he comes with five gold badges including defensive stopper rim protector hustle rebounder put back king and honestly this card plays really really well like i've seen him block so many shots i've seen him get so many rebounds for me i played with him a couple games and as i'm telling you guys this i'm actually going to be playing tomorrow with one of these lineups let me know which lineup you want me to do or if you want me to mix and match them i'm going to try going 12 and 0 with the budget squad we'll update you guys like throughout the week we'll do maybe one or two episodes a week with a budget squad i want you guys kind of to create my team let me know but i'm going to go all 10k cards or less and show you how you're going to be able to win in unlimited with them you also have luel dang who's about 10k now but he has 10 gold badges and honestly this card was a sleeper like he was going for so cheap he has an 88 open shot three but his defense is so much better than his stat show i think a lot of the throwback elites are actually like kind of slept on this dominique isn't bad for a slasher this demarcus cousins isn't bad as a slasher you have draymond green as well who goes for a little more than 10k maybe like 15 if you need a power forward that could stretch the floor, you got Draymond. I think this Demarcus is exactly 10K. He can't shoot the three like crazy. He has an 81 open shot three, but his other moves in the paint are really, really good. His defense is okay, but he can rebound. Like his stats aren't the best, but the 10 gold badges are amazing. And some of these cards play better than their stats. And that's why I have him here for you. I have DeAndre Ayton. Some other centers you can actually use are like Steven Adams, Joel Embiid. Both their amethysts are really, really good. I highly recommend them. And I like this Michael Beasley a lot of like the Chinese New Year cards are pretty good if you want to try those out but Beasley has good stats even his threes in 87 which is remarkable I could have put him on the other team but I like his driving dunk which is a 95 85 contested 95 driving layup 96 standing layup the rest of his stats are pretty good for a ruby like he has good box out stats his speed is pretty good but yeah guys let me know what you guys think of these cards what cards did I miss there are a lot of cards that are under 10k that are great did you guys try any of these cards are there cards that you're gonna try if you need another card that you don't like any of these and you want somebody else for me to suggest let me know tomorrow i will definitely be uploading our first game of my team unlimited maybe we'll have a couple of games if we could blow people out with our budget squads i'm really excited i think budget squads are the wave i know you guys been asking for it if you guys want me to make like an old emerald team an old sapphire team an old ruby team something like that something to keep us spiced up keep us engaged keep us energetic i'm willing to do something like that so you guys let me know it's been your boy mo's boy and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart let's try to get to 9k subs soon so if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe if you have any friends that this might help share it with them leave me a thumbs up and i'll see y'all later all in out